So I've got a question here from Adrian. Adrian's had this lovely new porch built. Composite door looks very posh, doesn't it? Cavity wall, all insulated. The only trouble is, you can almost see it on the right here, can't you? With this damp that's coming through here. Where's the damp proof course? Is it below? Is it above? Look, you can see he's got damp coming in all the way around there, under the door and even under the wall. If you look along this side, you can see that it's creeping in under the wall. I don't think that's all coming from the door. I think that's coming from everywhere, basically, because they've just basically put a slab in at ground level and then built off the slab. And you can see that ground level outside, that's high. He obviously didn't want to step. He wanted something. Maybe he's got a buggy, you know, children, or maybe he's got a wheelchair that he needs to get in there and he needs it to be level access. So I understand that, but if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it properly. So perhaps what he could do is to put an echo drain all the way along the outside there and drain that water away. It needs to be lower than that slab to have a fighting chance of success. So he's probably gonna to have to do it around the side as well, but you can get an angle for echo drain. Not echo, by the way, there's lots of other ones. I'm using echo, but it's a trade name, but whatever he does, he needs to get some kind of drainage channel around the outside there going all the way across the front of the door and hopefully that will stop that water from flooding in there. But it's not a very good build, is it really? Just bringing the brickwork off the top of the slab there. So I'm sorry, Adrian, but I think there's a little bit more work to be done. Not necessarily the builder's fault if they were just obeying orders. The thing about porches is that if they're not heated, then you don't need building regs for them. So the building control wouldn't be involved in something like that necessarily. The builder would come along and say, oh, this is how we do it, and they kind of do a design and build on it. So that's what happens sometimes. If they do a design and build, they haven't done a great job on it, haven't thought the thing through, and now you're stuck with it. I wouldn't go putting any more foam or any more silicon in there, trying to seal it from that way. Do it properly and do it from outside. So I hope that helps you, Adrian. If you've got a question, send it in.